Roblox VR is something that can either be the most innovative thing on the entire platform or the biggest bust that the higher ups ever tried. And with many different games being on the platform, there is room for several different types of players that end up entering said platform. So when these games that become so innovative on their own end up getting VR support, we could see a level of growth on the Roblox engine that we've never seen before. And I'm sure you're wondering right now what types of games could fill that description of gameplay. And to that viewer I say, pull up a chair and listen, because today we're going to be examining the games that I personally wish and hope get VR support on the Roblox Quest 2 VR, okay, yada yada yada, you get the point. So without further ado, enjoy the video. So the first game we're going to be taking a look at is one of the most innovative and long lasting first person shooters on Roblox today, the one and only Phantom Forces. This game takes its main inspiration from Battlefield, and honestly, I gotta say, this game is better than some first person shooters on Steam. The level of customization in different game modes can only be compared to that of like Energy Assault, but times two. I will say though the only real caveat to Phantom Forces as a Roblox VR shooter game is that it unfortunately has aspects that some might consider to be pay to win, but if you can look past that for awesome map designs, guns, and different signs and attachments, you will find what could potentially be an even bigger innovation to an already innovative game. But if Phantom Forces isn't your style, and you want something a little more arcadey than before, then let me introduce you to the next game on on this list of things I wanted to see added to Roblox, that being Arsenal. Ah yes, the classic. Another timeless first person shooter on Roblox that will have everyone leaving satisfied. Or, at least mostly. Because this game is an arcade shooter developed by the talented team over at Ralph, and it's a fairly simple FPS with its main mode being gun game. However, there are some other variations, just like the variations of the weapons in the game, which is another part of Arsenal that I want to bring up. The different types of weapons in this game are a sight to behold, and I think that with a little extra coding added to each weapon, it should be fairly simple to translate most of the guns over to virtual reality. Honestly, with how simple the graphics are and the gameplay mechanics, I personally feel that this game out of the entire list probably has the highest chance of being ported to virtual reality, and honestly, if this did, it would probably retake its rightful place as Roblox's most popular first person shooter. Plus, I'm sure the flurry of YouTube content that would follow would be enough to make any game add VR support in the future. Hey, you've only talked about VR FPS games up to this point, this video freaking stinks, can't you talk about something else man? Okay, first of all, valid point, second of all, SHUT! If y'all want to see something so different so badly, then how about you take a look at today's sponsor? Did you really just use that as a way to segue into a sponsored segment? Yogs is a VR accessory company that makes one of the most notable VR head straps on the market. But in order to celebrate the launch of their latest product, the Yogs handle attachments, I ended up receiving a free pair that I could try out for myself, and if there is one word that I could describe this product, it would be ADVANTAGE. I don't think some of you realize, but having arm extenders in a lot of VR games will absolutely break the crap out of their metas. Imagine playing a game like Creed Rise to Glory and having an extended reach against your opponent, or being the bane of every Gorilla Tag Kid's existence by flying around the map at top speeds with your arm extension grips, or even using it in games like Blade and Sorcery where you can do stuff like this. So if this sounds interesting to you, then please go to the link in the pinned comment and get a pair for yourself. And at checkout, use code TRENTIC in order to support the channel and get 10% off your order. Thank you to Yogs for supporting the channel, and let's get back into the video. For those of you who don't want me talking about another VR FPS on Roblox VR, then let me introduce you to the next game on the list that I think should add VR support, that being L Splash's premier horror title, Doors. In this game, you basically commit breaking and entering on an old hotel, and come to find out after opening a few doors, <laughs> Get it? You find out that this hotel actually has some creepy anomalies that end up chasing the crap out of you, and you have to try and find a way to escape. Overall, I think that the VR potential for this game is up there, or at least past what Arsenal could be. Although it is rumored that L Splash said he wasn't planning on adding it, so I guess there go my plans for mainstream Roblox domination through VR content. But anyway, now let's move on to another game that should hopefully not flat out say they won't develop VR support and break my heart. Assassin is a game that is very old but still regularly updated, and at one point it battled against Murder Mystery 2 for the most popular Roblox game. In this game you have a very simple premise, which is kill your target. Targets will be other players and you can do so by either throwing your knife at them or stabbing them directly. However, the twist is that everybody is a target, so even though you're trying to kill somebody, you might find that the person you just walked past was trying to kill you the entire time. And I personally think that if this game got VR support, nothing much would change in terms of making it the 
most popular Roblox game. However, I think a concept like this would gain a huge amount of traction, and considering the fact that you would just have to code knife grabbing, throwing, and killing, it could probably be developed at a pretty swift amount of time compared to some of these other titles. But now that that premise is out of the way, I think we should move on to the game that I most, most, most wish would add virtual reality support. Because if it did, it would make its claim as the first open world game on the MetaQuest 2. Mad City is a game that is closely related to Grand Theft Auto Online. It's an open world game where you can play as either criminals, policemen, or the twist, superheroes. As a criminal, your goal is the classic. Break out of prison, then go to the criminal base and get some weapons before eventually going and causing chaos in the city. The game features many unique heists that honestly I think would probably translate pretty well to VR, along with their insanely large map, variation in weapons, and their variation in different vehicles. The MetaQuest has been lacking a lot recently, and their open world games mainly due to the fact that they can't really retain a player base. However, with Roblox's addition of voice chat and everything mentioned before, this could take the place of the GTA San Andreas that we were promised at the MetaConnect back in 2020. Like, for real, do you guys remember that? Everyone was so hyped about that happening but as soon as it got announced, we never heard anything from it again. Not even a trailer. But anyway, I digress. I'd say the only real problem that Mad City would probably run into would be probably graphical capacity, however it handles that pretty well through the Roblox engine by itself, so hopefully in the beginning we wouldn't be able to experience that janky of gameplay, but I'm sure if we did, the devs would probably just try and patch it either way. But moving on, the next game I want to talk about is another horror game that probably would be a little easier to port to VR more than Doors. Breaking Point is a fairly simple concept that is executed to near perfection. The standard gameplay goes that all of the players are sat around at a table with a gun in the middle. Then, the lights will go out and somebody will be given the gun, for which they will be able to fire in either one, kill the person who they fire at, or two, the gun will fire a blank. Playing this with friends is very fun, and I'd honestly probably compare the feeling of this gameplay to that of Among Us, in the sense that it adds a heightened sense of you don't know who's actually firing the gun, unless it actually specifically says whose turn it is, which is one of the modes that can happen. In terms of it translating over to VR though, I'd probably say it's the same way in Assassin, where all they'd have to do is just code the hitboxes so they aren't moving around so VR players can exploit, and then just code VR players being able to aim the gun by themselves. But I'm sure there was probably a lot of games that I missed, and many different concepts that I haven't covered in this video, so if you do want to see more of this then please leave a like for part 2 or let me know in the comments. I will say that a lot of these games, if joinable, can be played in virtual reality and I'm sure you're probably how that is if they don't have VR support, and for that I'd tell you to check out my latest video talking about the best flat screen games to play in Roblox VR, because I unfortunately posted that at a very inopportune time and it absolutely got nuked by the YouTube algorithm. So if you guys haven't checked it out already then I highly advise you do. With that said, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and yeah with that said my name is Trentic and I will be signing out peace